It's time to get weird, folks, with the skincare routine. We're gonna get a little unusual. It's October, it's spooky. So I got these products from this brand, Metatherapy, that I have been seeing all over social media. This is the Vital Real Toning Laser Cream. Okay, it looks like some kind of, like, I don't know. It comes with a little vibrating light bulb. It's supposed to be like red light therapy. But what in the trypophobia is going on in here? I mean, doesn't stink. It does have does have a light uh, citrusy flavor, a little like Dawn, if I'm being frank. You scoop out a little creamy pearl. It's basically a gel and a cream together. It's kind of hard though to get both parts evenly on your skin. Anyway, I'm just gonna spread it. So I've been trying this out over the past week and I have to say, while it's kind of weird and the ingredients are way overkill, way too much going on in there, okay? The texture, the performance on the skin, the longevity of it, it, it keeps your skin hydrated, I will say that and it doesn't cause product peeling, so I'm gonna put sunscreen on after this, obviously. The vibrating little device, okay. Is it lighting up? There we go. But like, this one little presentation pointer is kind of what it reminds me of. Not, not enough, <laughs> okay. But the premise here is that this little vibrating thing is helping to push product in. Now, several months ago, I tried that electroporation device from Medicube. This brand is Metatherapy. See, I see some competition there. Um, and that was, oh, we're losing light. That was, that electroporation device, remember I tried that? This is, pretending to be similar, but as far as I can tell, it's just kind of vibrating on there, which honestly, if you have a little bit of puffiness, maybe helps to depuff. If you're good, we'll try this one out tonight. What in the UFO is going on here? Uh, all right, so this is another cream. This one doesn't have the freaky orbs, but it comes with another little generating thing. You have to charge with a USB. So I'm gonna put sunscreen on now. I'm using the Minimalist SPF 40, but I'm gonna put it on and get some B-roll because I'm doing a review of it, which by the time this vlog goes live, it should actually be up already. So check the video out if you missed it. But one of the things about red light is, you know, the spaces between the bulbs, people are like, are those areas not getting the red light? They are. Um, well, they're not directly getting the red light, but there's this principle in photobiomodulation of the bystander effect where the surrounding area does receive the impact, essentially, of improving basically the metabolic health, stimulating fibroblasts, reduce collagen, new healthy elastic tissue. The first sip is always the best. So this top, I bought several years ago. It was a splurge. It's from this company, Varley. I get so much use out of this thing though. It was definitely worth it. At the time I was like, I don't know. I don't know, it's kind of like a treat for myself. But I wear it all the time. Well, not all the time, because I don't wear it in the summer. The construction's really good. The zipper's nice and smooth. If you live somewhere really cold with blustery winds, you can kind of fill, fill it with a scarf, you know, put a scarf around your neck and then like zip this up. Things I don't have to worry about living here. <laughs> the weather right now, I know I talked about the weather last week and you're like, I don't care. The weather right now is perfect. Like people complain about the weather here, myself included, but it's actually only uncomfortable um, maybe three months out of the year. Basically our summer is like a really bad winter maybe in the Northeast. The rest of the year is actually pretty mild. 
We don't really have to wear coats. There are a couple of days out of the year where the temperature drops out of nowhere. People like scramble to find their coats. <laughs> um, but you really don't need that kind of stuff here for the most part. Or like winter boots. Yeah, you don't need that. So I like that. <laughs> you don't you don't really need seasonal wardrobes here per se. I just got a new candle, um, a bit of a splurge, but the smell is so good, this pumpkin dulce. So let's trim the wick and fire her up here. I just love the jar, so pretty. Yeah, I had one of these candles a while back and I really liked it. Little pumpkin scarecrow man there. Looks like we've got some new goodies from Olay, including this fragrance-free three-in-one rich moisturizing cream. Hmm, $26.99 here at Wally Greens. Glycerin, up, oh, surprise, surprise, niacinamide. Honestly, great for dry skin, hyperpigmentation, redness. Also has rice bran extract and panthenol along with shea butter. I bet you could use that on the face. And they have a new dewy glow sunscreen stick with vitamin C. This is a chemical sunscreen. It has a stable form of vitamin C, tetrahexyl desyl ascorbate may help ward off oxidative stress. The issue with sticks is they are prone to skip areas. Check it out, they also have a hydrating lotion in this uh, complete line similar ingredients probably more lightweight and consistency compared to the cream niacinamide again and they have this matte finish no white cast uh sunscreen probably uh, just judging by the packaging i'm thinking it probably has a fluid like consistency it's a chemical sunscreen 3-O-ethyl ascorbic acid that's what's in that new cetaphil vitamin c serum i reviewed several weeks ago at this point that is a stable form of vitamin c then again we don't really know to what extent it gets converted to ascorbic acid in the skin. So whether or not it does anything for collagen, who knows? This also has niacinamide as well. These are all $27 a piece here at Walgreens. Speaking of new from Olay, um, they're a little late to the slugging trend party, but here it is, a hydration slugging mask, deep moisture mask, fragrance free with shea butter. Is this an ointment? Yeah, it's got petrolatum in it. I'd be intrigued to give this a try. These have been out for a hot minute. You know, I'm kicking myself because I recently went on a little trip and I have been saying how these look like a great option for travel purposes for facial cleansing and I didn't, I didn't buy these. Um, but when I've, I've pointed these out, I do get questions about the um, facial cleanser with retinol. Like, is the retinol actually gonna work? It, it can. So cleansers can deposit active ingredients behind on the skin surface um, and they can you know, remain there. So it is possible. Um, you know, maybe if you're someone who has really sensitive skin, you wanna do a cleanser active. So you basically take advantage of short contact therapy to minimize irritation. Retinol by and large is not as irritating as like prescription retinoids, um, but everyone's skin is different in terms of what they need. I'm most, enthusiastic about this fragrance-free cleansing melt. Just looks like a basic, no-nonsense cleanser. On sale, $10.99. Oh, look at, the, look at this, you guys, Plexiderm. Okay, so Plexiderm has the under eye bag and wrinkle reducing product that's similar in principle and ingredient to the Peter Thomas Roth uh, Firmex. Uh, eye cream and they also have now a facial moisturizer for like before makeup anyway sodium silicate is what is in these as it dries it tightens the skin temporarily most people point out that when they use these they get really flaky peely and cakey they do they will do that to your under eye but good luck putting makeup on over it but this brand has dipped their toes into the retinol realm uh, so retinol is a cosmetic ingredient, can help with wrinkles, fine lines. It gets converted to retinoic acid in your skin, which takes a bit of time. So you don't see results as quickly as you would with a prescription retinoid, but it certainly can work. But Kuchial people often try and 
pretend is an alternative to retinol, it's, it's not. I mean, unless you're doing cells in a dish kind of research, it's not. It is an antioxidant though. It may help with the stability of the retinol in this. So it's not a bad ingredient. It may also help ward off oxidative stress. Interesting, interesting, interesting here. Anyway, they also have an ultra hydrating serum, sodium hyaluronic. So this is a hyaluronic acid serum and then they have reset and replenish hyaluronic acid pads. Okay. This is like a makeup remover pad. Those just kind of move the makeup around. <laughs> Fine if you want to use it like to break up mascara, but then you do actually need to wash your face because that doesn't really cleanse the skin. Looks like we've got some new stuff from Pons. They have a gel hydrating moisturizer here and luminous skin, 24 hours of hydration. Most of Pond's skincare does have added fragrance, which y'all know I prefer to avoid and leave on products, but it also has uh, niacinamide ingredient du jour. Man, if you, when people ask me what can I recommend something with niacinamide, it's like walk in, walk into Walgreens and just gesture broadly. You're going to hit like so many products with niacinamide. They also have Fresh hydration with aloe extract. Now aloe is hydrating and may have some anti-inflammatory compounds. Also has something called allocin, which um, shows promise for dark spots. And then they have the orange extract one, which I'm seeing here, vitamin C, of course. Um, sunny delight, why don't we? What, does it actually have a form of vitamin C in here or is it just citrus extract? Yeah, I'm seeing citrus juice, orange juice, literally orange juice. I don't see any other forms of vitamin C in this. Move over glow recipe, Pons is, Pons is on your back with their watermelon extract plus antioxidants. Watermelon's sort of like aloe in the sense that it's obviously very hydrating. Um, may have some anti-inflammatory compounds, but like how much watermelon is even in this? Hmm. Watermelon fruit extract. Look who came out with a cleansing balm, you guys. Cleansing balms are not a common occurrence in the American drugstore lineup. I mean, because in this country, when there is a product, it's not coming from just one brand. We'll, we'll usually get 60 different brands competing. Um, and you don't see a lot of competition with cleansing balms, let alone cleansing oils. Yes, we have them, but we don't have them to the extent of the, like the Japanese and Korean brands do. Um, but Garnier has stepped up. So we've got one from Garnier. Now, backstory, me and Garnier, my cellar waters do not get along. Like these almost make me angry whenever I use them. I don't find that they get mascara. I just, yeah, no, not gonna bother with that. So if this performs at all, like the my cellar waters, forget about it. You know, I, I rarely ever get along with my cellar waters. I tend to be a team, team cleansing balm. $14.99. Then we also have this one with vitamin C, which initially caught my eye. Ascorbyl palmitate. Um, may help defend against oxidative stress to a certain extent, but doubtful it's gonna get in and you know boost collagen. Interesting, interesting. This has been around a hot minute. This is not new, but I was mentioning uh, caffeine earlier. This is uh, a caffeine deep puffer and the little roller ball action. I mean, if you're gonna respond to caffeine, you're gonna respond to caffeine for deep puffing. But the real the real action here is that cool roller ball. Um, the cool temperature will help uh, deep puff. So y'all know I'm a huge fan of the interdental brushes, oral hygiene in general, but specifically interdental brushes. And let me tell you, they are not cheap. I discovered this Rosoco brand, however, on Amazon and you get 88, pretty inexpensive. They're really good. And they've got the little cap, so you can throw a few of them in your bag. That way when you're eating out and about and you get stuff stuck in your teeth, you can get it out right quick. I um, prefer these to those little ones that are like a hook with a little piece of string on them. Yeah, those don't work for me. I have really tight spaces. This works the best for like pushing, I know that's gross, <laughs> pushing, trapped food out. <laughs> Plus they come in this nice little box. So I just hopped out of the shower. My skin is still damp. Obviously I did the double cleanse. Started with the Pyeongkang Yule 
deep cleansing balm while I was out here. And then when I was in the shower, I washed my face with the La Roche-Posay Mila B3. So now I'm gonna come on with this. I've been trying this one out, like I said, the Chumage Gold Seal Lifting Cream. I love moisturizing products that have this stringy, slippery texture. Um, like snail mucin, I adore, and I really see results with snail, snail mucin. Anything with polyglutamic acid can often have this stringy texture. This does have retinol in it, woo. But I have not gotten any extra irritation using this. There's no reason to use retinol and tretinoin, like you don't get additional benefit. And if anything, it can make it more irritating for you. All right, so there's a yellow setting and then there's a red. And it's got a little bit of, see that? Kind of reminds me of that electroporator that I tried out. Whoa. All right, I gotta shut that setting off because that's just, whoo. There we go. This is the one that I've tried. See, it's kind of got a little vibration to it. I've got it on the yellow light setting, which honestly, this little gadget, the red and yellow light, not enough to do anything. Yellow light isn't really what's, you know, robust as far as the research. It's the red and near infrared that triggers photobiomodulation, but This short contact approach is not enough to really get the benefits of the light. The other thing you have to be careful with that product, I noticed it has gold in it, not visible gold, like that you can see like little gold flecks. But if you have allergies to like jewelry, it's potentially something that could cross react. And gold can be irritating to the skin, especially when you're like beating it in like I just did with that gyration. Like it's weird, that little gadget, it has just a vibrating mode, whatever that's worth, maybe help depuff. But it's also got this shocky kind of electroporation mode, similar to the Metacube, was a Metacube device that I reviewed for you guys a while ago. This one, however, feels more like uncomfortable compared to that. You saw my eyes like twitching and jumping. Uh, anyway, I just came on to my body with the Cetaphil Gentle Exfoliating Essay Lotion. I shared in my Fast Five video, this I think is one of Cetaphil's best lotions. I don't know if I mentioned this, but it has a little bit of a grapey like fruity aroma to it. It doesn't have fragrance, but if you were wondering, because I know a lot of people comment they don't like the way amlactin smells, this doesn't have that smell, but it kind of has this fruity aroma to it. I'm still using the Pantene, what's it called? Um, essential, the Pantene Essential Botanical Strawberry Shampoo and Conditioner I got at Costco. Not regretting that purchase one bit. That being said, it's no longer there at Costco anymore, and I don't know that they make that shampoo anymore, which is a bummer. I hate that brands do that. They like kind of do a, almost pull a fast fashion on us. Anyway, y'all, I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Thank you so much for making it to the end. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>